Hey guys, uh, I knew immediately after watching Split I wanted to make a explain video because there was a lot of elements that I really wanted to talk about and kind of spoil. So obviously if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this yet, go watch it and then come back because I love how this movie ended. So right off the very bat, when McAvoy gets in the car and the girl is sitting there and the main girl and you wonder why she isn't going out of the car. The whole time she's sitting there and McAvoy hasn't really even acknowledged her that. For some reason he hasn't even seen her. And you're wondering why isn't she doing that and that's because that is related to her fear of her uncle and basically the abuse she has gone through because at one point we see her that she has a shotgun and she's able to take out her uncle because her uncle's been abusing her but she doesn't do that she freezes and that's exactly what happens in the car but we know that through these elements of abuse we know that she has found ways to make her uncle like to get her uncle off of her obviously at the end we see her abuse of scars but because she's been through this already in a certain way, she's able to understand and sort of deal with the situations that she's in and how she's able to explain it to the other girls. But the part that I really kind of wanted to talk about is the last 10 minutes. At the end of the movie when the girls are trying to get out of their separate rooms and the therapist is waking up, we see McAvoy go to a train station and I had to admit, I was wondering all throughout last night and this morning, what was the train station? Why was he bringing flowers? And I have a feeling, this is my personal opinion, but I have a feeling this is where he killed his mother. Because we see at one point, Kevin talks about how he has lapses of time where he doesn't remember things. And the fact that we have obvious markers that it's the whole psyche breaking is to do with his mother and the abuse that he took and each personality was a sort of a wall a shield on top of it so for the train scene i have a feeling that this is where he killed his mother and this is sort of the beginning this was the beginning of his evolution in towards the beast i have a feeling that this is where everything began towards it so he's commemorating the beginning of the end and so this is where he will turn into the beast he's bas he's turning into the beast on the death site of his mother we see him run back to the house and then we s we see the therapist wake up and the therapist is so out of it that she realizes that maybe the one way that she can get back to him is if she says his whole name, which was his trigger word for his mother. Like basically hearing it all over and over again, him being yelled at for not cleaning up something and being attacked and whipped, that brings him back to his, norm, to his regular self, which is what happens as we see when he's climbing on the walls and she says his name, uh, he comes back down and he returns to human form. And then Kevin asks her to get the shotgun and kill him. And then we see the personalities flip into his mind and we see him start to try and defend himself. And we see the layers coming back on. And this is what a counter to the girl. Because the main girl, every time Dennis wants her to take off a shirt that's dirty, we keep seeing that she has another layer underneath. Like, she, this girl is wearing a shit ton of clothes on how she's not sweating to death, I don't understand. But, this is a counter. Dennis, or Kevin, Kevin has a multiple toot of layers as personalities on top of himself to protect himself from the trauma he received as a child. Whereas, the main girl is getting her layers that she's used to cover herself to try and mentally defend herself are being revealed, are being stripped away with each time Dennis tells her to do it and at the end of the movie when we see her with the scars and the beast sees her that's why he stops because he sees that she's gone through the exact same thing as him we see that he is she's pure she's been brutalized but she's still alive just like him she is a survivor just like him and that was probably one of the smartest moments of the film, in my opinion. There was a bunch of people behind me who were like, what? what does that mean? Why are they doing that? But then the ending of the movie. If you guys obviously didn't guess it, the movie is set in the Unbreakable universe. 
Because, to be honest, right when I saw Bruce Willis, I dropped my fucking jaw. Because I couldn't believe that they actually were making a connection. I remember hearing Shyamalan talk about how he wanted to do sort of his own sort of superhero movies. And I liked Unbreakable. I really liked Unbreakable for the idea of putting a... Sort of having a superhero story in the most realistic concept that you could possibly imagine. And this is a similar sort of situation. Sure, it bends the rules of reality, obviously. The idea of 23 personalities is ridiculous. But it sets itself into that universe. Whether we're actually going to get another film like this, that'd be dope. Because I'd like to see Bruce Willis in a film that actually matters to him. If the guy can even fucking do that anymore. Honestly, I loved how this ended because it was an origin story of evil. And whether we'll see the girl again, you don't know. I would like to see her character, but honestly, I think it ends on a perfect note. We see that we she is moving from one monster to another, and through her facial, long facial few, uh, look, we see that the cop is starting to understand some of the fear. Well, she's starting to understand that there's something not right there too, but then it cuts away before any sort of element is involved. So I liked Split for a lot of reasons, and this was one of them. This whole concept of McAvoy's layers of defense on top of his abuse and the girls de-layering onto her abuse and how they both collided at the end was super stoking awesome so anyway guys that is what i feel the ending of split means that is my thoughts the train part was really something i was thinking about i might be wrong but I'd be very interested to see what other people believe. I don't know. I thought that's my thought on what the train part meant and then everything leading up to it. So anyways, comment below. Let me know if you guys think that I'm right or I'm totally wrong. But either way, that's all that. That's my opinion anyways. So I'll see you guys next time.